Welcome back. Super Wednesday. The IEC in the Northern Cape says it hopes to attract at least 60% of uh, registered voters in today's polls. The entire Renosterberg municipality is up for grabs after the council was dissolved in September. I want to bring in uh, Nidia Flokotza as well as Uldrich Hendricks. They are covering uh, this province for us. First to Nuria. Nuria, very good morning to you. Uh, tell us more. What, what are you seeing there this morning? Good morning to you, Blaine. This morning, it's a slow start here in Pampirstad. Uh, we're seeing residents just coming in one by one. It's not the lines that people were expecting. And I'm saying this because this is a municipality that was dissolved earlier in the year. And I mean, there is 10 wards that are up for grabs uh, for political parties. I mean, if we go back to history, you must remember that this uh, municipality was dissolved because of the infighting where we saw even ANC councillors going against party policies, voting with, um, with the opposition in those matters. We know that this is one municipality, believe it or not, that had two mayors and two speakers working at the same time. So you can imagine the financial constraints that were, were caused into this municipality. This is the same municipality also where we saw that uh, the, the premier of the Northern Cape admitted that more needs to be done and things need to change. I mean, this is the same municipality that owes Sidibeng Water Board, Valhats Water Board, ESCOM Board, the ESCOM as well. They owe millions to these water boards, which means uh, the people that are affected are those on the ground, which are the residents. But now, playing just without talking a lot, let me speak to the residents themselves to find out that what are they hoping that uh, could change during this time? This morning, King you depend to Hotzo di Batlang Mona? Depend to Hosaki di Batlang Mosakili. You could power back Mosakili Bagana and other party English ANC because of Renilla ANC, Machel and Machet. Rebecca the Councillor say two without pit without the petto. They even know like no Yana, Miss Ara no Mosakili has Miss Agut. Rano Miss Alon Horan, I fail. Hanta, Renale Mad, since Vahile, the RDP from twenty twelve. Till 2020, as long as we are the toilet, the toilet is not the But we are COVID-19. So we are not going to So we are not going to be So we are not going to be able to do it. So we are not going to be able to do it. So we are not going to be able to do it. So we are not going to be able to do it. So we are not and Luna di kutla jang mo shomong kan totsen te di ezala maspala ribona maspala waluna uti zolviwa use use yo basically ona jaha huna political head ona we na maya jaha huna little more. Eh so ne kadiyo like that's why kiriki elza horika na anada anar e e fe fe anada chance. Rokano kubana di petok because of ANC says he's in the corrupt. Always he idra single son tongue willing with the corruption. Like no yana banwa jele di three hundred and fifty. Zaba tu ba long horong kaba bereki ba tu siwa. But ba na Right, the area who did, but still, how on a like how on a core how on a we forward the edge. One, what hello, hi. You tell a little early Lanka, you know, Namasa Kiliba, Akibasa Kili, Leno Yana Kalu Dulamasa Kili from nineteen ninety four by Akibasa Kiliba Dulamo, but still, no Yana, since Rafaji RDP, repeatedly the councillor as a two, how on a pet or home the councillor as a pedite, even Leno Yana like Kisor who were ever at Hakitur Bagaza, Yamakala Hava Peha. Mo mo ensi ba pera councillor aiki ari dato la before ipe kulo mo sakile ina dato la ba aki ba sakile rhaiti ba aki ba sakile but home pia nu ba mo pera so ke surprise tiki amakala kore why so yin ke ele za kore ba ne ef ef chance ba bo ne kore five mo five years ye ita ba direla in isa ke se ele za there you have it basically playing from one of the residents here who voted basically just reiterating uh, what I had said that the problem here with all the infighting in municipalities, the instability in, in, in municipalities has caused that uh, has caused uh, the residents not to have proper sanitation, has caused the residents not to have proper roads, has basically slowed down uh, service delivery and if there's one thing that uh, residents are hoping for this time is for change, hence they're saying they're hoping another party might probably come in and bring more change because since 1994 they haven't seen anything progressing in their lives. But right now I'll cross to my colleague Ulrich who is in Renosterberg.
Hi, good morning and welcome to Philipstown. Thank you very much to Nere Silkocha, my colleague in Kukwani Municipality. Of course, in contrast to there, we've been having uh, people here at Philipstown where we are at the moment from about 7 o'clock this morning, a little bit earlier than that, because people were queuing to basically uh, cast their vote before they went. Uh, to work. Of course a lot of them were disappointed because the voting station only opened an hour and about 10 minutes uh, after it was official, supposed to officially open. Uh, the IEC said that this was because they had to solve a problem or a complaint by the EFF about yesterday's special vote that has been sorted out so the voting station are open. A lot of people, especially the elderly, are starting to cast their vote. Still a very huge line though uh, here at Philipstown. The IEC of course yesterday were quite concerned that people will not be able to show up because it's firstly not a, a public holiday so people have to come in when they have time to vote but also uh, that there will be voter apathy because of the dissolution of this municipality. Of course Renosserberg with its four uh, wards and uh, four PR votes all of them were dissolved uh, in September this year because the, the, the provincial government described it as dysfunctional and not able to render services to its residents. Um, of course, like other municipalities, they are owing uh, the ESCO money in terms of electricity, also various water boards. Uh, so this municipality was actually switched off for a couple of days earlier this year because of that ESCO uh, debt. But a lot of people complaining about uh, firstly uh, employment, uh, the water situation and the electricity situation here. But like I said, quite a number of people expected to vote. We actually have one of the people will be casting a vote for the first time this year. She just uh, turned 18 last year, so just in time for this vote. Patricia Fadroy, tell us why is it uh, why is it important for you to vote and what the experience of your first vote? Uh, it's very important for me to vote to get a better life. People must work. Those places must come right. Yeah, are no water, no toilet. That's why I'm vote. Because you, you, you must be water and toilets that people can use it. And uh, so why do you think it's important for you to vote? And um, uh, why do you, uh, why did, I mean, you've been standing here for, for more than two hours to, to, to basically cast your vote. The reason why I get a work, I work by EPWP, by road and public workers. And my mother works also there too. She works too. They work in public work, roads and public workers. That's why. Thank you very much, Latricia. Of course, she is a first-time voter, and uh, she's in line. I think uh, looking at this line, she's got about half an hour to an hour before she will be able to mark her, make a mark for the first time. Of course, like I said, four uh, wards up for grabs and four PR wards up for grabs in this municipality. Of course, it includes Philipstown, where we are at the moment. Uh, 50 kilometers from here, it's Pietrusville, another small town. Uh, and then uh, Van der Kloof, more uh, type of holiday resort type of thing. But uh, uh, more and more, about 5,000 registered voters uh, expected to cast their vote. The IEC says they're hoping that at least 60 percent will cast their vote. They're just fearing that uh, uh, voter apathy will kick in but uh, looking at the, the queues here at Philipstown I think that uh, fear is, is, has been set aside. Blaine? Aldrich as well as uh, Neria, thank you very much indeed for your reporting. As the IEC officials tell us, it's so important to have good turnout. Why? Because during by-elections, even a handful of voters can sway a result. So people need to come out and well, have their voices heard in terms of their vote. Neria and Ulrich, appreciate your reporting.